Last time on Star Trek Online. We are fighting a war on multiple fronts. We have to consider the Borg, the Undine, and the Romulans, as well as the Klingons. I see now my deception has been exposed. Starfleet has lost too many ships and too many good men and women to a fight we now know was caused by Iconian and Undine influence. Is that... An Iconian gateway? Yes, I believe it is. Into the gateway, now! Are all those markers Iconian gateways? Sir, we've been scanning the gateway. The monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. We are within the Solanae Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. It now appears that the Janolan sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solanae and moved to this location. You're not, Cooper. We will repel the Undine and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. The Undine are a threat to us all. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. And now, the continuation. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. I will admit that I did not expect to be here with Voyager again. It is agreeable. Thank you for agreeing to attend this conference and supporting my position on the Undine. However, reaching a consensus today will be difficult. Many different agendas will be represented here today. I will speak to you in person shortly. Tuvok out. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. Please beam down to these coordinates. Good to see you. I'd say you're right on time, but it looks like everyone else wants to be fashionably late. We're still finishing preparations for the conference. And Admiral Tuvok is already there. The Klingon and Romulan delegates will arrive soon, so we should head inside as soon as you're ready. Thank you for joining us here. We need assistance with preparations for the conference. The Romulan and Klingon delegations are still in private deliberations, but other delegates are arriving. Several preliminary tasks remain before we can begin the presentation. Your support in this matter would be appreciated. Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? This Cardassian thug is trying to push Bajor out of this conference. We have as much of a right to be represented here as any other world, more than the Cardassians. They're not even part of the Federation or the Klingon Empire. 
I simply pointed out that as a Federation member world, Bajor has no need to send an independent diplomat to this conference. After all, Bajor has no separate planetary interests that would require their attendance here. The Federation speaks for them. Well, since you put it that way, I suppose I'll just take my seat. Thank you for your assistance. Please take the opportunity to speak with the various delegates. Having an understanding of the positions of each representative will facilitate more effective negotiations. The Federation's position is quite clear. We believe the only way to safeguard the future of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants is for all of the galactic powers to behave as reasonable entities and work together to oppose those who would threaten our worlds. It doesn't matter if that threat comes from the Undine, the Borg, or the Iconians. The response is the same. The Zindi are here to support Admiral Tuvok's call for cooperation. We know what tragedies befall a people who are being manipulated by outsiders, as we once were. The Undine's lies and manipulation remind us of the Sphere Builders, whose deceptions led us to make one of the greatest mistakes in our history. There are five races on my world. We all know reaching a consensus can be difficult, but the Zindi are living proof that if we put aside animosity, our differences can make us stronger. I sincerely hope that the Federation is not wasting our time here. If your presentation is to explain the threat posed by the Undine, let me spare you the effort. The Klingon Empire has been aware of this threat for quite some time now. Thank you for the invitation. Starfleet certainly knows how to organize their meetings on a grand scale. I trust that the Republic will be able to take a leadership role in studying this sphere. The extensive knowledge we've gained from the Solene sphere should give us an advantage here. And, after all, the gateway that leads to both of these spheres is in Republic space. Yes, the Undine. Very interesting. My security advisors have been looking over the data, and we are all very curious to hear what you and Admiral Tuvok have to say on the matter. You've spoken with representatives of all of the delegations. You should return to Admiral Tuvok. 